Every week, I pick a good friend of mine and I take them out for lunch. I tell them that we can go wherever they want, just as long as it's not too expensive. I'm Tommy Dasilo, and this is Cheap Lunch. As my local chicken shop, Super Tasty Rooster has been a staple of my diet for almost two years. And as it turns out, this North Fitzroy icon is one of Dave O'Neill's favourites as well. Hi. Hi, I'm alright. Can I just get uh, the chicken roll? With lettuce and mayo? Yeah, lettuce and mayo, small chips. I think your camera here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. filming us. What's it for? What's it for? Uh, current affair. <laughs> 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 I was talking to a Coke rep about this. It's got more of a soda water taste, Coca Cola. Yeah, Diet Coke. That's more true. Minor. Yeah. That's cool. I don't mind Pepsi Max, but. I know. do prefer Diet Coke over regular Coke, though. Yeah, or Coke Zero? But people, yeah, Coke Zero is. Coke Zero is Pepsi Max. Nah, Coke Zero's got yeah. that weird aftertaste. You gotta be a tradie to drink Coke Zero. <laughs> There's a place down in, uh, like, near Dramana that's called Hot Chicks. And the sign out the front is this cartoon of, like, a chicken's head on this, like, buxom female uh, body in a bikini. Disturbing. It is the most confusing kind of thing of all time. It's crazy. It's disturbing. I love chicken and chips. I read once that Bert Newton's favourite thing is to get a chicken and some chips and go sit in his car by the Yarra and eat it by himself. Is that I've got to say, yeah, that's true. I've got to mm -hmm. say... I love that too. I mm. would do that. You know what my favourite thing is? Eating and driving. Oh, really? I love eating and driving. I haven't mastered that yet. Oh. I'm a bad enough driver just as it is. by itself. Yeah. I can't add another thing into the equation. What do you find is the perfect thing to eat in the car? Sushi rolls are good because yep. it's like a thing. Dim yep. sims. You need something you can grip. You need like a yeah. suva I've, or... I've done a suva. I've eaten a uh, McDonald's. I've done plenty mm -hmm. of times. Yep. Fries are all right because you can just sort of have yeah. them kind of in between your legs and kind of pick at them a little bit. Once you get into the McFlurry world, it gets a bit tricky. You want to pull <laughs> over for that? Pull yeah. over for McFlurry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do. I mean, I'm, not, I'm like an alcoholic in that I'm addicted to food. I'm not, I am not. I don't drink really. I don't smoke or do drugs. Not anymore. And um, so I, I would drive into towns or the suburbs where I'm doing a gig on a Saturday night and just eye off all the food joints. Yeah. Like an alcoholic would eye off pubs and bottle shops. But see, I don't like Subway. Mm. Uh, Subway's rubbish. You don't? No, the bread's terrible. <laughs> I hate that soft, terrible bread. What I do like about Subway is that a lot of places now, because everything's kind of trying to get very fresh and very yeah. kind of healthy and stuff, a lot of places now are very proud about the fact that it's like it's all cooked in the oven and it's all cooked well. Subway don't even try and hide the fact that they're just microwaving it in front of you. Yeah. Like they'll <laughs> literally just grab it and turn around and bing it in the microwave. There's no mystery about it. Well, you know that smell that you smell? That's mm. that's fake, that smell. I've heard that, yeah. yeah. Is that is Apparently that proven? Is that true? I don't know, but it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't like Subway. They need to do it like, you know how like at Nando's you can buy the sauces that they put on their food. They need to sell like an ambi purr yeah. that's got the subway smell in it so that you can just pump it Have into... Have around your house. There used to be, I think, in fact, I think there still is on Chapel Street, there's a subway and a Baskin Robbins in the one building. Oh, I like Baskin is, Robbins. Really, it's such a horrendous combination because you're trying to get ice cream yeah. and you can just smell that subway <laughs> smell wafting over. It's like, whose idea was that for a business? I've often said that's the name of my lawyer, Baskins and Robbins. I get my <laughs> lawyers on you, Baskins and Robbins. <laughs> With your takeaway places, what are some do's and don'ts of a good takeaway shop? Don't ever buy anything from a place that diversifies. Pizza and fish and chips, yep. no good. Do one thing, do it right. It's like me saying I'm a stand comedian and a juggler. <laughs> well, you know what? Make a decision, mate. You're one thing or the other. Yeah. I mean, you might be a stand comedian who does a bit of juggling, but seriously, generally stand comedians who can juggle aren't that good. <laughs> so, my God, there's a wasp on Yeah, me. there's a wasp oh on my, my fork. Cover your can of drink and we'll, <laughs> we'll get in the thing. Look, there was a joint I used to live and they used to do Thai and pizza. Ugh. And so the guy was a Maltese and his wife was Thai. And so right. he would come out and I'd say to him, you don't cook the Thai food, do you, mate? I mean, I'm being <laughs> racist, but I don't want a white guy like you cooking my food. He's like, no, 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 I do the pizzas. Oh, well, that's all right. If you're on a desert island and there's only one takeaway store on this island with you, if you could pick one. I think either a chicken chopper or a souvlaki bar. I don't know. It wouldn't be a fish and chip shop. I, I mean, I like fish and chips, but I prefer... And also, you're on a desert island, so you can presumably, if you get good enough, catch you can fish. just go out and catch your fish. So that's a bit of a waste. I think. 
it'd be that Thai shop slash pizza shop. Now that I now that you say it like that, no. <laughs> <laughs>